swing and no doubt your summer blooming annuals are also in full bloom. So what should we be doing to keep the plants healthy and the blooms blooming? <laughs> Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is here with some tips. Hello. So, Hello. so yes. this doesn't look so good. No. No, and I, I had to, you know, our plant staff does really well at keeping things updated and, and fluffed. So I did have to search to find something that needed to be deadheaded. <laughs> <laughs> so so generally plants are, um, flowers come in like single stems like this, mm -hmm. or in spires or, or clusters like the angelonia over there. And so when you're pruning, you wanna, annuals will keep blooming as long as you deadhead them. There are some varieties that will sort of self-clean, but mm -hmm. dahlias, which I love, yeah, and they're, they're great. so great for cut flowers, mm -hmm. and so you just, basically, you want to take this all the way back. Right to the base of right that. Right to the base. Oh, okay. I saw one that was way up here. You don't want to just cut the flower off. You don't want that stem like this. Up. You don't want this sticking up. Right. That's not very attractive. I've seen people just literally just pop that off, but... Yeah, How you want to go, to go, all, to you go, go down back as, because if you see right here mm -hmm. where this leaf note is, there's some buds coming and that's where your next flowers are going to come from. Oh, so these fresh guys right yeah, there. Yeah, so that's, you okay. want to go just down to where some leaves are coming out and that's where the that, new buds that's, oh. that's where the new flower will come. That's where the new flower oh, okay. bud will come. All right. With something that's tall and spired like that one, you want to go back again. You'll find the same thing. You'll find a leaf node with some buds coming out and you want to go back to that point. And that would be like salvia is a really common one where um, where you would go back to that point. Cut that entire spire mm -hmm. off. But this one is fading from the bottom up. Yes. Yeah. Well, it blooms from the bottom up. So you oh, can see on okay. there, there's some spent flowers. So you want to wait till that finishes and then take the whole, the whole thing off. Wait till the whole thing Wait, yeah, and yes. then cut. Yes. Okay. Salvia is the same thing. Now there are things that you don't want to flower. Basil is a really good example. And basil is just like the salvias where you see right here. Here's the flower starting to come. Mm -hmm. And right mm -hmm. below that flower in this leaf note are buds. So you want to take all of those out because... Um, going to flower will take energy from the plant away from the taste of the plant and that's what you want to happen with basil. You don't care about the basil flowers. No. You're gonna put them in a salad. What you want is the foliage and you want that flavor to be as concentrated as possible. Interesting. Yeah. So get rid of all these, these yes, flowers. Yes, and that's the same with most any herbs. Really? Yes, yeah. So you want to keep those flowers from developing. Is there a certain point when the it'll start to flower? Uh, generally, as it gets hot, everything's starting to flower now. So, so now's yeah. the time to now's keep the time to keep look over to everything. Look over your herb garden. Boy, it smells good, doesn't it? Doesn't it it does. It's very, very <laughs> fresh. Yes. So what do you want to deal with all this flowering so stuff? So when you're done with the flowering, well, let's talk a little bit too about watering uh, okay. and fertilizing. We're and getting, then we'll okay. try and get. getting ahead of ourselves. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so there, if you bought stuff at the garden center, it was probably really well fertilized when you bought it. But now you need to fertilize if you want to keep things flowering. So there are two ways to go. This is what we call. A slow release fertilizer. You can just put a capsule of that around on the soil at the base of the plant, and as you water it in, then the fertilizer will, the coating will dissolve and the fertilizer will be released. How often do you need to do that? This is like every six weeks. Okay. okay. So it's a more of a one time thing. Okay. This is a water soluble fertilizer. This is by Jax, and you mix this with water, and you can either put it on the soil or you can spray the plant. This you'd want to do every one to two weeks, depending on your plants. That so often. that's, yes. Because this washes out really quickly. What if the annuals are in the ground? If your annuals are in the ground, then I would use the water soluble and just spray the whole thing. Okay. Okay. And now as far as watering is concerned, that's the that's, that's the, the stuff. Coat. Okay. As far as the watering's concerned, there is you would think that when it's really hot like this that you need to water every day. But check the soil in your in your garden bed or in your pots because when it gets super hot, sometimes plants will go a little bit dormant and not be using the water. Overwatering at this time of year is almost as common as underwatering. Mm. So check oh. the soil first. You see them all wilting, collapsed, and it might not be, and you're checking your pots are sopped because mm -hmm. they've been overwatered. They don't like wet feet. Exactly. Okay, so if we don't want to deal with any of this <laughs> stuff. Get some things that are beautiful without flowers. <laughs> so this is a really nice coleus. 
Um, and they will set flowers, just pinch those off. But, okay. um, but the foliage is beautiful, and I thought this was amazing. This is a caladium. I've never seen this color oh, before, and I thought beautiful. this was, I might buy this. <laughs> I might not make it back to the garden center it tomorrow. Gross. I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> Great tips as usual, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you. Happy gardening. Okay. Gardening. Yeah, I think I might do some work in the yard tomorrow. It's supposed to be cooler. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Smart. All right. We'll be right back with a final check of your forecast.